Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the result of an experiment that I've done very, very recently. I did it for you guys because I kept getting the same question over and over again. What happens if you post more than one blog post to your blog in one day? So what did I do? I posted one blog post, you can see here, 20th of February, two, 20th of February, three, 20th of February, you get the idea. This is also the 20th and this is the 20th. So let's see what happens when you write five blog posts in one day and you don't submit any of them to Search Console, okay? Let's see what happens. For this, I got the keywords. I just kind of used my brain. I used Google e uh, Keyword Planner a little bit, but it was more just, you know, what are people gonna be searching for right now in this niche? So let's get into it. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a breakdown of these articles to see how they're actually ranking. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit funny. I am still a little bit sick, but yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that they're all indexed. So I'm gonna copy them all one by one and I'm gonna put them into the top bar of Search Console. If any of these are not indexed, I will be a little bit unhappy, to be honest with you. So the first one is indexed. Let's see the second one. Remember, I didn't submit these to Search Console. I wanted to do a test where I was kind of like the, the noob at SEO and I didn't know what I was doing. So I just didn't submit them to Search Console. So far, it looks like all of them are gonna be on Search Console. So maybe submitting to Search Console isn't even necessary. I guess it depends on your website. This one is also on Search Console. We've only got two left, guys. Let's hope that every single one is on Search Console because that will really, really start this experiment off with a bang. This is the final one, five wardrobe essentials for men. Let's see if this one is also on Google. Please, please, please. It is. Okay, so all five of them are on Google. That's really, really nice. But that doesn't mean they're good articles yet. The next part of this is we have to check if they have any uh, traffic. I'm just going to change this to English because I realized the other day that I can just write EN here and then put everything in English, which makes it easier for everybody. Okay, I just made myself a little bit smaller in case I was blocking any important information here. So let's go on new, let's go on page, and let's control V this here. Okay, so the first one only has 18 impressions. That's not very good, but considering it's a fairly new article and it hasn't been interlinked anywhere, I would say that's pretty good. Five impressions. Um, let's see if most recent is more than five. It is. So it's a growing article. Eight is the largest we've ever had on this article. So although not a great start, I would say it's not that bad, to be honest with you. Let's put it back on three months and let's do the second one. Okay, so I've moved myself again because I realized I was probably over the impressions. Let's go here. This again, not the best article. 21 total impressions. No keywords picked up yet. Let's go most recent. Again, not very good at all. I am a little bit disappointed by this. This is a live test. I have no idea how these articles are actually doing. So it looks like maybe these blog posts are not niche enough, to be honest with you. Like they're quite broad. This one, I have a very good feeling is doing well. So let's have a look. It's doing terrible. I don't know how that's possible. I'm very disappointed by that actually. Three best Italian cut suit brands for a funeral. I really thought that would be doing a lot better because it was less niche. Interesting. So I'll probably have to look into why these articles are not doing as well as my other articles. 11, this looks like a grower. Uh, how to dress for a job interview guide for a man. Very interesting. This looks like it's picked up some keywords as well. If this most recent date is higher than eight, then we're in the money. It's currently three, which kind of sucks. But I think this article was a lot like better, to be honest with you, if that makes sense. Yeah, this article is more niche, it's got more content, it's got more information. It's just a better article. So I can definitely understand why Google is ranking this one and not the others. Let's have a look at this final one, five wardrobe essentials for men. And then I'm gonna show you a few other examples of this experiment that I did with, uh, I did uh, another day where I did three articles, okay? So it looks like, it looks like it's not working. It might be too early to have made this video. But to be honest with you, the fact that they're all indexed and the fact that some of them have keywords, that for me is actually enough, okay? 
What I'm going to show you now is the result of another experiment that I did, very similar to this one. So urban, summer, this one, this one, this one. These three articles were all posted on the same day. I think the 8th of February, 8th of February, 8th of February, and the 8th of February. Okay, so what I did with this part of the experiment, first of all, it's been longer. Okay, so the, it's given Google more time to get data on the articles. But secondly, I kind of made a bit more effort with the photos at the top, which is really, really good for getting the click. So let's see how these articles are doing. Let's see if they're indexed, first of all, as that's one of the most important parts of ranking on Google. So the first one is indexed, perfect. Let's have a look at this one here. Let's see if this one here is indexed. I want to assume they're all indexed, but you should never assume. You should always check. This one is also indexed, and it looks like it has breadcrumbs as well, which is pretty cool. And then this one here, Summer Work Outfits 2023. For this particular one, I had a really good keyword method. All I did was I went on Google keyword planner and I typed in summer for men, summer dress for men, summer outfit for men, okay? And then I looked for things and one of them was business casual attire for men in summer. And it had something like almost 100,000 searches a month, okay? So I really, really, thought that, that was a good idea to very quickly find a lot of good keywords, okay? So let's see how these ones are doing. I actually have no idea how these ones are doing. I, I'm going to assume they're doing better, but are they doing better? Yes, holy crap. Wow. This has 35 keywords. Wow, this is a lot better. 35 impressions. Let's see what the most recent date is. Let's see if it's grower. We don't know yet because it's the beginning of the day, so we're not actually sure yet. Summer wear for 2023 for men. Let's see how this one is doing. 638 impressions. What? So you can see that, yeah, it takes a little while. These were posted on the 7th. And then already after three, yeah, it looks like these articles, they're just much better, basically. The, uh, the keyword, the ideas for these articles was obviously just a lot better. Maybe... Uh, there wasn't as much detail on on Google already, so it was something I could easily break into. Average click-through rate, 9.7% is huge. Absolutely massive. Let's check the last one. 327. A humble 327. I'm really happy with that. I think that's a lot better than the other ones. Maybe the other ones just need a bit more time, but honestly, if you look here, posted on the 7th, and they've already got more impressions than the articles that... Uh, I showed you at the beginning of this video. So what can we conclude from this video? If you post a lot of articles in a day, it does not affect the ranking of those articles. You're perfectly safe to post five, probably even 10 articles a day, probably even more than that. It's not like YouTube where your videos will compete with each other on the homepage or whatever. Your articles will not be ever seen like next to each other competing with one another basically. So it's, it's safe to post as many articles as you want. But the most important part of that is that the keywords have to be good. Okay, so just before we end this video, let me quickly show you how I actually found these keywords. So this is Google Ads Keyword Planner. There will be a video in the description that will show you how to set this up. Obviously, I'm doing United States because United States is important for me. And what I did was I typed in something like summer style men and I saw what came up, okay? And I sorted by this. And honestly, the keywords here are actually crazy. Summer wedding outfits for men. I already wrote this article as well. Summer looks for men, summer outfits. Men's casual summer outfits. I haven't written this yet. It's got 10,000 searches a month. You've got to remember, we're selling specifically summer items at the moment. So these are all amazing keywords. Summer linen suit, vacation outfits for men. All of these are incredible. Summer cocktail men's attire. So what what this keyword method is, and I do want to make a separate video about this, okay? But my keyword method here was summer cocktail men's attire. So cocktail men's attire is one of the biggest keywords in my niche, okay? And what I did was I looked at that and I tried to break it down into different categories. Another example of that is business casual. Business casual is a massive keyword. So what did I do? I took business casual and I broke it down. Business, casual, jeans, men. Let's see if my article is here. It probably won't be. It's not. 
If I write two men here, it will appear, obviously. I'm not saying this is a good keyword. Please do not leave a comment saying, nobody searches business casual jeans, two men. I know, okay? I'm just trying to find the article. Are jeans business casual? My idea was I have a business casual out, uh, article. Why not have a specific article talking about a specific part of business casual? And you can do this. You can rinse and repeat. You can do it a million times. And it's a really good way to capitalize on the potential traffic. Do you think this has a lot of searches? How many searches do you think this one quite long tail keyword has? Let's have a look. It has up to 100,000 searches a month, which is insane. 50% of those are men, let's say, 50,000. Jeans, business, casual, men has up to 10,000 searches every single month. Okay, I wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons. Number one, I wanted to show that you can post more than one article a day and Google doesn't care. Number two, I wanted to give you some insight, although there is another video coming on this, some insight into my kind of ideals when it comes to keyword research at the moment. I like to find trending and I like to break big topics into smaller topics, even though they're still massive topics, okay? So jeans for business casual, business casual jeans. This is the keyword that I'm trying to get. Obviously, we're not there yet, but we may be in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this was helpful. I really hope this gives you some ideas for some more content and gives you the confidence to post more than one blog post using ChatGPT every single day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.